Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and today is Thursday, June 10th. Uh, what a feeble rally. Uh, you know, I thought they were going to do a little work this morning before they actually tried to get going, and then they were looking really good, and they really got a rally going, and then, shoo, came undone in a flash. Within an hour, they were right back down to where they were, where uh, they were down on the day. But the last hour, they managed to uh, regain their uh, momentum, and they wound up closing up on the day. But uh, it's a struggle. Uh, it did not feel like a solid rally to me. They feel very feeble, and uh, it's like they can come undone at any moment. Uh, not to be trusted type of rallies. But uh, anyway, they might try their resistance area tomorrow. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about when we look at the major indexes. Uh, the other troubling uh, part of the market is the same. It's the financials. Every day it's another new stock. F Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Lehman Brothers, whack, whack, whack. And rumors running around. There's so much uncertainty around that the fear is starting to grow. And I think that's good. So what we need is we need a mini panic. We need some kind of big selling day, but I don't know if we're going to get it. Uh, as long as the market keeps having these kickback rallies and it's orderly, which it really is, the decline has been orderly, but still down, um, uh, it will continue to erode. Uh, that's my view until we get that washout. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get it. Um, these things usually happen in September, October. Could we erode till then? We could. But we'll take a look at all that stuff in our, in our final segment when we look at the major indexes. Uh, I do not have an idea for you tomorrow. And uh, the reason being is most stocks have already started their declines. So they may be halfway down. And I'm not going to recommend something that's already uh, halfway down because they're always subject to these kickback rallies and then they get you out of step. Uh, and the stocks that have been clobbered, and they look cheap, but they haven't built a base yet. So I can't give you longs. So we're kind of like in that transition period where uh, nothing new is starting to roll over, and certainly nothing new is, looks like it's starting to rally yet either, because that's going to take some time to build some of these bases. So henceforth, I don't have an idea for you tomorrow, but I'll keep looking. Uh, but we will look at uh, the one stock that we sold short this morning, uh, NWI, and then we'll take a look at the major indexes. So uh, don't go away. I will be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of NWI. This is the stock I sold short this morning. I got this stock off... Um, early in the morning uh, it opened down a little bit and then it had a little kickback rally and that's what I used to, to uh, sell it short I got it off at uh, 887 uh, closed at uh, 881 but uh, what I want to point out is that uh, today's action just confirms that this this look this rollover look it has see it we keep making lower lows and lower highs uh, also, we've got what I think looks like a head and shoulders, head, left shoulder, right shoulder. So this is still looking promising. So because I don't have another idea for you tomorrow, we're going to go right to our major indexes. And first is the Dow. Okay, here's our resistance. Now this pattern still catches my eye. Um, I, you know, there is. I always say when you have these flat tops, there's always a chance that we get this breakout. But I, I don't know if that's really in the cards the way the market acts. Uh, but what I do want to do is I want to show you an hourly chart of this. And uh, this is the rally that we uh, ended the day with. It closed. Uh, almost on the high of the day but this is our major resistance area right in here and you can see we've gotten there once 
broke down, got there, rolled over, made a lower low, retraced it, got back into the resistance area, rolled over, made another lower low, rallied again into that resistance area, rolled over, made a sort of another lower low. So I think if we get the rally back up into this resistance area, which is a pretty good possibility for tomorrow, I just don't see how they're going to have enough strength to get through that resistance area. And by the time they get there, I know my indicator is going to be quite overbought. So I don't, just don't see how, how it can be in the cards for it to break out above that. So I, I wanted to show you this hourly chart to show you what we're up against with, with trying to expect a, a breakout. I, I, just don't, I just don't think it's in the cards. Let's go back to the daily. Anyway, this is our resistance. We probably will get to it tomorrow, uh, but uh, I think it'll probably be a selling opportunity. All right, let's take a look at the transportation average. Um, up twelve dollars today. Um, it's just a continuation on the downside. I mean, it may bounce around here for another day or two, but I, I believe it's going to roll over, make another lower low. Russell 2000. It looks very much like the uh, transportation average. I said this yesterday, but it continues to look that way. Um, just in a very steep downtrend. I mean, it may bounce around here for another day or two, but I, I believe it's going to roll over also. S <coughs> SPYs, which is basically the Standard & Poor's 500, pretty much look like the Dow. Let's take a look at an hourly here and see what we're up against. Uh, this is that resistance area. I mean, we have a shot at getting up there tomorrow uh, on a continuation rally. We don't have to get there, but if we do get there, I just don't see how we can get through this. There's just too much stock here. So when we get there, it's probably going to be a sale, and then we'll probably roll over again. Okay, that's our uh, that's the SPY. Now let's take a look at the uh, QQQs which represents the top 100 NASDAQ stocks and uh, same same story here we take a look at an hourly and uh, this is our resistance area here we just can't seem to get through that uh, can we get there tomorrow probably we could are we going to get through it I doubt it because my indicator is going to get overboard again by the time we get up there I would guess it's getting getting a little bit on the uh, neutral to overbought side right now as it is right now at tonight's close but there's still a little room for it to move a little higher but I just think this is a formidable uh, resistance area so like I said until we get some kind of major washout scary and I, I, I think the fear is beginning to build in the market where there's, there's a possibility we get one of these washout days um, I think it would be good overall. Okay, that's my view of the market until tomorrow. This is TK signing off. Oh, one other thing. I may, I'm may i probably going to do a weekend question and answer. So if you have a question that you think the trading community would be also interested in, along with yourself, email it in to me, and I'll see if I can't answer it for you this weekend. Okay, till tomorrow, TK signing off.